मैं रेकर्ड सुरू करें ओके सो यो टेक्स्ट तब मैं देखा मत हो यो टेक्स्ट तब पढ़ा ते पीछे गए अर्क पढ़ा यह टेक्स्ट पीछे धीरे आइडिया हो रहा विशेषगरी मैं तब आज थोड़े बुकिंग मेरे भिडियो देखा सुन्न मेरे आवाज आवाज मत सुना स्लाइड सो देखा स्लाइड हे बंद ना मैं आवाज मत सुन रहा ठीक ट्राई कर अब भाई फिर दोहरा कर लायक छेन हमी फोर्थ यूनिट में हाई द फोर्थ यूनिट विल बी डिलिंग विद एप्लीकेशन पार्ट अफ क्रिटिकल डिस्कस एनालाइसि सो इफ यू आर लिशनिंग वेल देन यू कैन म्यूट हई तब म्यूट करने ठाव भी था तब बोल पन्म्यूट कर बोलू नपर्ता खरी म्यूट कर बस्तर तेज भोदि मैं बोले प्रश्न आ डिस्टर्ब होनी हाई सतोष सर मैं म्यूट म्यूट कर दूँ मैं कर दी लाई अब मैं अन्म्यूट ठीक है सब म्यूट होने भाषा अलग ओके लेट मी बिगिन नाउ आई विल जस्ट ओरिएंट यू व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन द फोर्थ यूनिट एप्लीकेशन अफ क्रिटिकल डिस्कोर्स एनालाइसि सो दिस इज ओनली द ओरिएंटेशन आफ्टर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल गिव यू द टेक्स्ट टू एनालाइज पर्सनली एंड यू कैन एनालाइज द टेक्स्ट uh yourself so you are dispersed you are not in one place otherwise i could give you the analysis uh, task in group but now i i will give you individually to analyze so uh can just see <coughs> we have just talked you know we have discussed a lot about cda in our class since cda is a research it is the research okay you, you need to understand research in Uh, research methods in social science so that uh, that point you have to keep in mind all the time since cda is a research based critical practices critical practices we need to critically analyze both uh, written and oral discourses with the insights so far we developed out of the theoretical discussion of the text on cda we have talked a lot about theoretical part in previous units particularly in unit third we talked about the uh, theoretical part uh, approaches to critical discourse analysis we have talked a lot multidisciplinary approach transdisciplinary marxis and um, dialectical uh, so many uh, neo colonial uh, i mean colonial approach so, so so many things we have discussed in the third unit on the basis of that we will be uh analyzing the particular discourse in this unit this is the application part only so cda has a vast agenda and research paradigm we know we have discussed a lot this is the high level uh discourse met uh, analysis method or research method so one can include any of those agendas and paradigms in 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 their critical practices while doing the practice so however it is almost essential to take a theoretical stand while analyzing discourse critically uh we have to take any one uh, theoretical stand 
from which perspective we will be analyzing particular text. For example, we have, uh, uh, we have found one text, one discourse, and uh, to critically analyze that discourse, we need to take the uh, theoretical stand. That means from which perspective, from which lens we will be uh, analyzing that text. Sometimes we can take it, um, we can analyze it from Marxist perspective, Marxist approach, or sometimes we can uh, uh, analyze this from feminist perspective. Feminist perspective means, you know, from the feminist lens, uh, and then we do this. So similarly, the discourse for critical analysis should be related to the pressing issue of the day. So we do not uh, analyze all the text, but we uh, take the uh, very pressing issue. What issue is going on in the current um, time? For example, uh, what is going now? Corona. So Corona is you know pandemic disease. It's you know spread uh, all over the world, and it is creating a lot of you know problems for the human uh, as a whole. So that can be one pressing issue. And we can find a lot of discourse, a lot of talk, a lot of written, written text published in newspapers, or maybe some you know, legal body. Or the, the issue, corona issue can be found everywhere. So we can take any particular text or discourse, and then we analyze it. We see that from different perspectives, or we can uh, analyze from any one perspective. So uh, the analyzed, our critical discourse analysis needs, uh, needs to look at the structural differences in the relationship of power or dominance or discrimination or hegemony or access or distribution, control, manifestation, so economy, politics, and socio-cultural practices of language use in his or her analysis. So when we say critical discourse analysis, we have to analyze it from uh, different perspective like power, how power is enacted, power is exercised or produced or reproduced in that particular text. So dominance, whether that particular text or discourse has created the dominance or not, discrimination, hegemony. So remember these terms, right? These are the terminologies which can really make the uh, discourse analysis critical, okay? Uh, so the application of CDA aims at making learners ready for critical reading. While reading, we read very, very critically. Critical reading on different discourse genres, such as legal discourse, or bureaucratic discourse, business discourse, media discourse. So we can find number of discourses, and then we analyze them using different theoretical lenses. So, uh, yes, we can see here some, uh, some, some tips for analysis in the form of group work or presentation. So we, we, uh, uh, we were supposed to analyze the text in group earlier, but because of this pandemic uh, corona, we could not attend the class or we could not have a workshop, face-to-face -face workshop but um, we are here connected. So um, some tips I will give you while analyzing different discourses from critical lenses, you need to do or you need to uh, introduce the genre first discourse. Uh, in few sentences, what you have to do, from which genre this particular discourse is taken, you need to talk there while analyzing this you know, discourse. You need to introduce the genre or field a discourse so far you have chosen in your work at first. Which one? Maybe discourse related to legal, or maybe discourse related to the media, or maybe discourse related to other sector. Okay. So uh, which ones? You, you need to introduce first in the first line while analyzing, and then talk about the methodology you have followed while going through it. So, you know, methodology is part which one you are taking to analyze that particular discourse. You need to talk in few sentences about the methodology. And then... So you mean to... Oh, sorry, sorry. You mean to say the methodology that are the, the methodological aspect of CDA that we have to mention, sir? Yeah, while analyzing the text or discourse, 
what you do first you read the text many times first okay i am giving you the yes, uh, process okay i am giving you the uh, strategies to analyze the text uh, that can be asked in exam also okay? so this is first thing what you do you introduce the genre which genre or field you are dealing with whether it is media or it is um, you know other type of discourse legal discourse or which one you need to identify and introduce in few sentences at the very beginning okay and the second you need to talk about the methodology which methodology you are using there for analyzing that text what you are doing i will give you the sample letter don't worry and then explore critical findings of that hello are you are you listening to me uh i don't know whether you are listening or not yeah listening yeah good okay then what you do um, next you suggest or recommend some ideas based on the positive and negative implication of the discourse you have selected and the findings you have made on it for example in the text there can be positive things good things as well as bad things you need to make a list or you, you need to mention what are the good aspects of that particular text and what are the bad aspects and then finally critically assess the quality of analysis either based on the articles given or based on your own standpoint of your you know self reflection you need to uh, critically assess you need to add your viewpoints in the in the in the, in the you know text so uh, while analyzing print discourses from critical lenses you need to introduce that okay you, you remember this first okay and look at there various types of discourse or genres that uh, included in your course first one is critical analysis of legal discourse in your exam also anyone can be asked legal or bureaucratic or narrative or business or newspaper or press conference or classroom discourse any one of them can be asked to analyze in your exam so if you have already gone through the old question you might have found there are some examples okay so you need to see them any question so far okay i don't know what you are expecting uh, in this uh, discussion but i will just uh, give you the orientation first okay and then analyzing print text or oral text both can be there practical tips for the analysis of text again you can see what you do first first step you read and reread the text thoroughly when you get the question paper or when you re, uh, you find the uh, particular discourse you have to read it and reread in 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 one reading you cannot understand you cannot find all the things so you have to read and reread again and again and then you underline the key terms used in the text that relate to the aspects and agenda of critical discourse analysis key terms okay you need to uh, underline the key terms key terminologies in the text which is related to the agenda of critical discourse analysis sometimes you know you can find some text some some terminologies related to the power sometimes related to the you know discrimination sometimes related to the you know domination or inequalities <laughs> so you, you have to underline that and think for theoretical attachment of the text for example the text may be related to the issue of power what it is related to marx if it is related to the you know power then you, you need to apply the marxist approach there and to the expansion of knowledge transdisciplinary approach can be appropriate there you can use transdisciplinary also or you can use their multi disciplines or interdisciplines uh, interdisciplinary approach which approach you want to use there to the activities of institution if there is then interdisciplinary to the communicative you know behavior multimodal approach can be appropriate there to the context politics are uh, and discriminatory acts 
historical approach you can uh, apply uh, to the cognition control ideology and access to multidisciplinary and to the feelings of political interference resistance orientalism subta you know uh, subaltern and diaspora so everything you can see and then you can use the colonial and post colonial approach there are many approaches in thought unit so you can uh, decide yourself after reading the text which approach can be appropriate okay okay so we should select our own self uh, by looking after looking this the text sir okay or uh, uh, yes please which, which is necessary uh, first we should find the, the necessary necessary approach then after analyze yeah uh, yeah you, you you cannot use all the approaches at one time right in the text so whenever you find the text or discourse you have to read and reread and underline some key terminologies key terminology okay key terminologies whether it is related with the power or dominance or colonial uh, so you have to uh, find out some key and then uh, use the approach i will give you some example later let me go a little bit faster okay so um, okay sir simply the concern of cda cda means all the time what you have to remember is that you you, you need to take the stance or you know position of a marginalized group who are uh, marginalized in the text who are suppressed so you have to see this and debrief the key statements of the text there there can be you know some statements in the text that that's what we call uh, proposition we we learned in the class we discuss in the class proposition statements some statements can be found in the um, discourse you need to make the list of that statements and then link them to to any of the approaches you discussed in unit 3 and critically examine what it is about what is the wrong what does it imply and what you would like to suggest to do look at there remember this point what it is about what is this you know, or what is the wrong there what is the mistake there you need to uh, pinpoint the uh, deficiencies or problems in the in the text what does it imply there can be the hidden uh, thing so and what you would you know like to suggest to do so these things you need to uh, care and conclude with the implication of the text to the overall social structure you can relate the implication of analysis to the societal level okay in the social structure what um, can be the impact this is all thanks for this and then i will go to the next okay uh let me let me show you some sorry sir no no this is not okay are you listening are you listening to me yes sir we are listening yes yes, yes good. Yeah. good good let me let me give you some ideas here i think i have sent you this text to you in email uh see one yes this is one example you can find look at here sivan represents yes, of yes. rape in the discourse of legal uh, decision you can read this one and you can find some ideas introduction how introduction is written there you can see okay excuse me sir i am not seeing any text uh, i think my video is stopped oh my visual i have not seen any visual mm -hmm. video okay hello hello are you are you, um, are you viewing the slides or are the documents yes yeah. yeah, sir yes no, no, i am looking but bandana is unable to see is yes um, from the beginning i i am unable sir okay so maybe sir hello are sir sir are you listening me okay good uh, i am listening santosh sir sir actually yes, i am confused that what are the procedures or what are the steps to be analyzed in to analyze the case critically what are the procedures or steps 
yeah steps means you know there are so many steps uh, but uh, you know remember we uh, in exam from exam point of view we will not have much time you know maybe you have you know 25 to 30 minutes time for analyzing the text or discourse given there yes. right so yes. at that time you have to be very very careful you cannot use all the you know strategies that we have discussed in 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 previous lessons what you have to do yes. is that when you find yeah. the text you yeah uh, you you just read and then you underline the key okay. terminologies key terminology means you know yes. key phrases yes okay? and then after uh, underlining the key phrases you have to see what the text yes. is producing uh, in micro level i mean you know uh, what um, the text is trying to uh, give the meaning what types of meaning is uh, it is trying to give first you have to see that and then uh, meaning yeah meaning meaning making and what yes. types of vocabulary yes. words are used there so overall you you yes. observe you you see there in the text and then you write yes. few sentences from which yes. discipline or from which yes. area or genre this text is taken you write uh, this yes. first introduce yes. eh? into the introduction and then from yes from which genre does it belong to no sir exactly exactly yes yes, yes. you can do this hey eh? and yes. then second thing yes. you you need to talk about the methodology which methodology you are using there right yes so you you, yes, yes. you mentioned there and then yes. and then uh, then you can analyze uh, i mean analysis uh, can go after the methodology part so uh, yes. this is how you can complete within the half an hour you 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 have to finish the uh, analysis that's why you you have to be very quick uh, on the text okay I give you some so ideas. What should be analyzed? The things. What should be analyzed, sir? Okay, number one, you have to analyze the linguistic part, text. Yes, ling text. Linguistic in the, part. In the text, what is the um, main vocabularies, main you know, terminology used there? Number one, you have to uh, mention, and what these vocabularies or terminologies are hinting. Are they hinting towards the domination? or social inequalities or gender biases yes. okay yes. Uh, so th this th th things you have to see first and then mm -hmm. which um, approach do you apply there for example marxist view if you use marxist view or approach you have to say you have to write yes. there okay from marxist point of view the power is uh, controlled by the may uh, you know by by certain yes. class or certain group maybe in the text sir, so, uh, sir but how can we know sir mm -hmm. how can we know which 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 approach should be applied okay very good question so you have to see the terminology there terminologies mm -hmm. okay terminology means you know the uh, words key phrases okay okay wait i i will give you some examples later eh? okay sir uh don't worry mm, yes this is the text that you have to read many times it provides you yeah, how how to how to you know analyze the rape text there this one sir have you sent us this text yeah i have yeah, sent yeah. us legal 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 with mouth legal discourse mouse are you okay you can see there now i have some text to you <laughs> Look at your simple text. This one. Can you see this? No, sir. We are unable to see this one. It is very in a you know. Its the size is okay. Yeah. Now we can view it. Okay. Rape is a crime against humanity. International yes. laws have mentioned criti uh, no, uh, criteria for criteria. the offense to be rape. Look at this this text, and you decide which approach do you choose for analyzing this. For this one, sir, feminist yeah. approach is the best one. Which one? Feminist. 
Exactly. Feminist, feminist approach. Very good point. Very good point. Why you are choosing feminist here? Because uh, usually rapes are done to females, no? That's why. Mm -hmm. By the yes. males. Because males are elite and females are thought to be a little bit a marginalized group in our society. Yes. Marginalized. Yes. Highly related with uh, gender discrimination. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Gender or social inequality. That means you can use yes. the use the you know uh, Marxist approach also, no problem. But <coughs> anyone which you choose, that can be that can be fine, no problem. Okay, no problem. But uh, you you just see the rape is generally produced. Uh, generally, you no know, take place in the in in society because of power relationship. Why rape? Who are the you know? Uh, dominant uh, um, uh, you know, actors for rape. That means male, male and female. You can talk about male and female gender type of things under the feminist uh, you know, approach. No problem. But if you go to the power or a Marxist approach in society, there are two classes. Okay, uh, I mean, you know, the class means you know one is the elite elite, elite class, another one is bourgeois. So, because of this class in the society, there is a gap. You can start like this way, and you can uh, apply the Marxist approach there in in, uh, in analyzing this text. Okay. Uh, this one you can do like this. So, look at here. Make a critical analysis of given discourse, considering the key issues raised in the discipline. The new political scenario has shown that Nepal is being more you know, inclusive in the issues of representation. Issue of representation. Look at the representation, the, the terminology. Representation. Uh, there has been significant progress in eliminating gender-based discrimination. Gender-based. Look at gender-based. When gender-based comes, then you can directly apply the you know, feminist approach. Feminist approach, yes. Yeah. And you can talk, what is feminist approach? You can uh, talk in one or two sentences and what types of words are hinting. Okay. Which words are giving you clue that the text is uh, producing a kind of inequalities in the, you know, uh, between male and female. You can, you can just discuss these things here. Look at here. Okay. So similarly, the next one, analyze the given, you know, uh, discourse on the basis of the criterion included in HAT. HAT model. Have you seen this? HAT model? No, sir. So HAT model, you can uh, just uh, explore in internet or you can find in the text also, the, the, the uh, collection, photocopy. HAT, HAT model. Or I will send you again, no problem, in email. Look at the text. This is an interim order has been issued by the Supreme Court for withholding uh, the government's decision. It is given to dismiss four top official appointment of the of then government. A single bench of justice, Ram Kumar Sesta, issued the order cancelling the government's decision. Okay, look at this uh, discourse again. This is the this is the legal discourse, legal discourse, and that is produced by a uh, Supreme Court. And this is talking about what you need to analyze and discuss. Okay. That, trying to say is yes, this discourse is trying to say what for us. This is the legal. And how this text is produced? What are the social structure behind it? You need to talk about this implicit matter as well. Eh? So remember, first one, you, you just talk about the linguistic features, terminologies, vocabularies, particularly used in the discourse, uh, which can give a clue for applying the particular approach. First, you have to talk these things, OK? The proposition or the statements um, in the text you need to make. And then after that, you have to uh, talk about the uh, inequalities, 
discrimination or 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 other kind of you know social domination what things are the text producing or what the text is representing why this decision is made yet slippery of government in its decision making process government is lacking the good decision there what we can expect from the government just a counter said a uh, said a civil society leader can be a way of making you know a uh, oppositional party more aggressive to take counterparts against the government look at opposition party and government so how many uh, aspects are included in this discourse government and then opposition party and then the people society so three things so and how they are exercising Politics. the power there you can you can see the text there right? so can we can we say that this can we analyze it through the marxist approach of course of course you can talk about the power relation there power power relation means government is you know using more power being oppressive oppression to the people or to, you know not giving any space for the opponent parties as well this there is the conflict there is the class why this is the this is the you know product of our contemporary society as well you can connect like this way and then you can write sir hello please hello actually sir sir actually what are the different types of texts or discourse mm -hmm. that can be asked to analyze in the exam sir okay hello okay okay good so uh, santosh sir can you listen me yes sir uh yesterday i talk uh, with the gokul i mean uh, guru sir in in kirtipur who is teaching yes, discourse, sir. discourse analysis uh, critical discourse analysis there in kirtipur uh, campus yes sir and then i just wanted you know um, uh, some 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 you know uh, ideas from him as well for uh, yeah. for examination point of view so because he is there yes. and the people they can be you know involved for making questions as well huh, sometimes yes, so so i i wanted to uh, have some clue for you you people and, yeah uh, we we discussed a lot uh, about the, uh, the the discourse that is kept in the uh, fourth unit or you know asked in exam as well and what he says is yeah. that within the half an hour time the complete yeah. discourse analysis cannot be uh, cannot be you know written cannot be done Com yeah come in exam yeah but what we see here is that whether the students they have understood the process or not the way yes. only you need to give some sense so for this purpose yeah. they may take one particular you know news published in newspaper Yeah. or or sometimes they can give you uh, like this you know verdict verdict means that is uh, uh, released from the supreme court sir first one is sir uh, related to newspaper uh, what sort of issue okay the contemporary issue burning issue can be can be found okay when news may be related with the uh, uh, corona virus Are related with the you know political news. You have to see. You have to read first. Yes. You have to read and find out yes, which one and how that particular yes, issue is produced. You need to start talking about you know with the help of the instances or you know the theoretical lenses that we have talked earlier. For example, if text yes. is, uh, uh, you know is related with the political news, then you can see there are some power exercises. there you can see some you know uh, inequalities or or class division hai right? you just see you know uh, mm. the text and what the text is giving or uh, you know hinting giving some clues yeah like this way you yes. can see santosh sir yes yes sir just just read the text and then try to find some key phrases okay? which can hint sir Into, into yes, the, I, sir, 
approach that we are going to use yes please Yes, sir, uh, my question is that what are the sector or aspect or uh, discourse uh, fa factor ka, uh, faculty that can be asked in the exam? Yeah? Uh, you are asking me genre, which one, which genres can be covered there? Yes. Okay, very good, very good questions. So, um, I earlier, you know, uh, presented there in slide that... From general all you know press uh, press release number one remember hey press release yes number one number two uh, uh like you know the statement given in the press conference okay. number three that can be newspaper article or news report also can be there news report okay or news report, news report. or another can be Another can be the, you know, um, verdict, you know, verdict. Yes, sir. Verdict, no, sir. So, you know, that is, you know, released from the Supreme Court, right? That can be, or sometimes can be there, you know, uh, psychiatric or doctor's uh, prescription statement. So these types of things can be given to you, based, particularly based on the eight wow. types of discourses given in, in the fourth unit. I think so. Yes. Uh, so these, uh, these are the... Uh, contemporary issues, no, sir, first one. A, a contemporary. A, uh, all the issues can be contemporary. What is happening right now? And yes. what the newspaper published? What the government, you know, um, uh, I mean, published through uh, press release? Uh, sometimes governments, you know, notice can also be uh, given to you. So this press release, this newspaper report, verdict. So what are these points, sir? Uh, these are the real discourse, okay? Real discourse, mm -hmm. which we can discourse. which we can find in the you know in newspaper or print form. Or sometimes you can be given the classroom discussion also, eh? Sometimes what can be given? The dialogues uh, between teachers and uh, students of the classroom can be given to you. And you can be asked to analyze that particular um, uh, dialogues or conversation or discourse uh, using the uh, different, you know, uh, approaches. You can be given that also. Classroom discourse analysis. Yeah, classroom discourse analysis. Yes, sir. Yeah, dialectical approach you can use there. For example, dialectical. Yeah. Dialectical rational approach. Yeah, dialect. Yes, exactly. Dialectical means you know how, what is the relationship between teacher and students. Okay, okay. How how much power the teacher is uh, enacting or or producing, or how the students are uh, reacting. You have to see the lines or the conversation there, and then you you, you need to analyze. You need to produce some meaning there. Okay. Please, I am in the class, sorry. Oh, yeah, Baba. Jan, 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 Okay. So, yes. Any, any question? It's the next text to you. I will, I will send you this text for analyzing. Can you, can you see Santosh not there? Yes. Uh, so yes, very, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Look at there. The new then, political scenario has yes. shown that Nepal is being more, you know, inclusive in the issues of representation. Yes. There has been significant progress in eliminating gender-based discrimination, yes. as well as empowering women through enhanced representation. Yes. The, uh, the constitution has ensured at least one third representation of women at the lowest yes. uh, local level. The local, provincial and federal election system in national politics also ensure yes. women's con you know, considerable representation as the candidates. From the le legislative perspectives, gender discrimination has been reduced. However, in practice, still we, we have experienced the uneven participation of women in political, economic and administrative sectors. Women are given only deputy roles in political and administrative 
decision making process it shows a good example of the gap in the previous and um, sorry in the provisions and implementation of the policies in nepal so this is the text this is the discourse how do you analyze this one what do you find what are the uh, main terminologies that you have to underline you can just see look at here it can be also analyzed from feminist sir yes yes sir inclusive yes, sir. in the ceo representation yes feminist approach you can write you can use there yeah we yeah. Marxist also can be used. Perhaps. Of course, of course can be. Of course can be. Gender-based discrimination. Look at here. Marxist, we can. Yeah. Mm. Empowering women. Look at the you know terminology. Like this way, you have to yes. see. Yes. The constitution has you know ensured at least one third representation. It is related to the legal also. Yes. What is the legal provision there yes. in the in the, in the country? So then, that means we can we say that this is this this falls under the gender of legal discourse. Of course, we can do it. We 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 can uh, you know uh, take as in legal as well. No problem, sir. Sir, it means sir uh, in single takes uh, different approaches can be used. No, sir. Sure, sure. Whichever we want, we can use any. Anyone, option. anyone, you can use. Yeah. You cannot use all the you know approaches there in in a single text. It will be very difficult. But sir, more than one can be used. Our... No, 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 no. We have to see and uh, we have to read it and we have to um, write uh, from which uh, gender it belongs to. Then mm -hmm. we have to use any one approach and we have to describe that one. Of course. We cannot mix all the approaches. Of course. of course, you can do it, sir. Hello, yes, sir. Please. Yes, please. Hello. Yes, sir, I'm listening to you, Shanta, sir. Sir, should we analyze? Should we analyze from single perspective? Yes, sir. Why not? We can do it. We can. Should do we it. analyze mm -hmm. from single perspective? Uh, should we? Miss no, you? I mean to say, can we analyze from uh, using two approaches or not? Of course, Santo sir. We have. That's why we have discussed multidisciplinary approach. What do you mean by multidisciplinary yes. approach? Yes. Interdisciplinary approach, transdisciplinary approach. They yes. combine. They combine all the disciplines yeah. together and analyze the text. Okay, but if you want to, you know, analyze from you know Marxist point of view, you can only use Marxist yeah. approach. Hey, right? if you want to analyze from feminist approach, then you can use only feminist. If you want to apply all the approaches or from multiple perspective, then you can use multidisciplinary approach. No problem. Multidisciplinary approach. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Now it is clear. <laughs> you <Yeah>. got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything? So so yes, I give you I give you this task to you today. I will send you you know through email, and then yes, individually you need to you need to analyze this text, and then send me back send me back within two days, and then we can again sit again in Zoom like this way and discuss. Sir. Sir. Yes. You send us all the slides that you presented here. Okay, sure, sure. I will send you the uh, record also. Okay, next text you can just see. Okay, let's go, sir. Okay, analyze the description. Okay, so uh, you can just see there. Can can large size? Can we see in large size, sir? Please, you can, you can, you can. You are, you can make yourself enlarge in, in also in your in your screen. No problem. How oh. sir? Hey, oh, 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 oh. I got. Mola, please, can you do no Zoom in out, conference. Actually, because I will not. Just, just like this way. You can just you know keep here and then uh, <laughs> just, uh, do like this, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, <laughs> so, uh, look at their interim order number two. Analyze the given yes, discourse sir. on the basis of the criterion included in Hyatt model for analyzing the discourse in educational context. Interim mm. order has been issued by the Supreme Court for uh, withholding the government's decision. 
it is given to this you know uh, dismiss for top official appointment of the 10 uh, sorry of the then government look at here so what you understand and how you analyze this text you have to write this is the task for you okay i will send you i will send you this and uh, next thing uh, how long we are sitting here so we cannot uh, stay three hours continuously the time <laughs> yeah because because of the you know time no no because of limit of the zoom this software this software yes. does not allow uh, long time we have to buy the software this is the trial version only <laughs> that's, oh, why. Yeah. that's why then we can use do you know sir okay we can use that also so this is what i wanted to show you and today i will send you some uh, youtube links eh? link for the video so where you can find some basic concept of you know critical discourse analysis plus the methodologies of analyzing the discourse very nice uh, videos i have found and i have kept the uh, uh, link over here let me show you here youtube link sir yes these are the link i have collected i will send you them uh, i can send you in the message also no problem if you want to see control go 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 there oh where is mommy okay so i will send you in the message okay uh, okay uh, so um i will be out for few minutes because i have one urgent call right uh, i give you uh, these links and then the materials in email and we can uh, sit again with the, some inside some ideas and some problems in the next uh, meeting okay okay sir okay sir, okay, sir. Okay. if you have any question please we can take in few minutes do you have any question so i have got one question here and from 2075 question please, before please and uh, so it is written that it is given in the group b Mm -hmm. Make a critical analysis of given discourse considering the key issues raised in the discipline critical discourse analysis. Mm -hmm. And there is one uh, discourse over here and how to interpret this one. It is not going in, in my mind. Okay, fine. So Ajani. for this. Yes, for this uh -huh, yes. Please Hello. Sir. Sir. Hello. Yes, please. Sir, please send uh, send us a Gmail at first, sir. Which one? Fix, honey. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I will send you an email. Okay, sir. I will send you right now, no problem. Uh, yes. Okay, sorry. I have the email here. Mm. what happened to see any person okay so i will write you but you know uh, i don't know actually the uh, name of all okay no email id your email id where i kept so maybe here yeah? yes yes there is sivani uh, um, other names are here Sent a message, Bandana Limbu. Okay, 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 okay. Let me copy. Is there on. Bandana? I don't think there is my. Oh, yes, yes, I have. Uh, I will, I will write you. Okay. I will write you all together. Okay. Hmm. And any, what, what about your study? How is it going? Mm -hmm. Sir, 
we just uh, did uh, unit 3 now we will proceed to unit 4 and we uh -huh. have to see unit 1 and unit 2 also okay i we just want to uh, show you one one book eh? wait okay uh, look at here once this collection how many of you have this collection which one which book is that sir i cannot discuss Discourse analysis, uh, the is collection it? of the materials. Sir, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can go there. Not this one, not this one. We have two, two collection. Hey, you can yes. go to first one, one, one to three. Yeah. Okay. And then there you can go to um, the text of Bandik. Page number. Uh, page number 100, uh, 100, uh, no, 100, yes, 98. Can you go to 98? Multidisciplinary CTA. Sir, which one is this? I have 127, 1 or A. Uh, this one is the you know, first uh, collection for the uh, unit 1. That is, two. That is 1. Uh, you want, that one. is 1. 1. Uh, page, page number, right sir. Yes. Page number 98. 98. 98. Yes. If you if you go through this, then you can get a lot of idea because you know Bandik, Bandik is you know a very good person, good man. He is one of the uh, founder of this you know um, critical. Uh, discourse analysis network and then uh, he has given the example of legal discourse one petition against the uh, persecution of microsoft one very nice example given over here one text and that text what, sir, is, I could not, you sir, could I find could not get, sir. Hello? Page, number, page number page number 99 uh, 98 99 you can see what is written there multidisciplinary cda a plea for diversity. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So please read this. Very easy to understand. And the same text is analyzed from multiple perspectives using multiple um, approaches. Okay. And I like this one. You can read this. And. Uh, Which pages should be studied, sir? Sir, all the pages. Yeah, this article you can scan very quickly. Which one? The whole, the whole, the whole, the whole, you know, uh, what is CDA uh, given there and then the text and how to apply multiple perspective to analyze that particular petition. The petition, you know, from the court. Okay, so you can read because you have time, you lucky people, huh? you have time a lot at home, you should not go to school. Our work. You read. Sir, all the pages. All the pages you can scan. Scan means you Sorry, can. Which pages should be studied? <laughs> 98. This, this article 98 to the end of this, you know. How much? How long it is? Let me see once. 90, 98 to 122. 200? 122. This article, particularly for legal, legal, legal discourse. Right? For legal One, discourse. 122? Yeah. How long, sir? <laughs> it's long. You have to read it. Let me give you uh, yes, this one and then next one.
Okay, uh, I have just copied some links over here. You can uh, you can watch YouTube video, eh? Okay, sir. One, two, three, four, five YouTube videos, and then we can uh, we can we can discuss about these videos in the next meeting. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow at ten o'clock. What time will, will you feel comfortable? I think Maybe 10 is okay, sir. I think 10 is okay. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, no problem. So, uh, uh, Santosha spoke a lot, and then Suwani Bimala. Do you have any question? Anything? And then who is there next? Bandana. Oh, who is next there? Kiran sir or who is there? Please speak. Santos sir, no. Bandana. Okay. But next time when you enter the Zoom, please you uh, write your name at, at the beginning. Hey? How to write the name? Don't know. There, there one, you know, fix forms. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I got it. Rename, no, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Rename. I'll write rename. today only. Yes, it's I V A N I. Why should I wait for tomorrow? Oh, okay. Shivani, yeah. Done. Great, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shivani, great. Great, la. And then is there it? is and one, it? no, who is this? Mamta? No. No, no, no. no. Wopo, Wopo A7. Can we speak? Hello. Wopo A7 means. Formula. Got. Formula. 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 Yeah. And with this one, uh, G W C R O U P. Yeah. Formula also wrote name. Good. But okay, she's, I'm she's, I'm she's she's in oh. mute. Mute. Yeah. She was in she's in mute. I don't know why. She's in mute. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Bandana also wrote. Oh, good. And Santa, sir, you write your name also, please. Yes, sir. Re 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 rename. Mm -hmm. Santa, sir, please write your name. Yes, I am writing. Good. Good. And then there is one. Yeah, I Parmila. think this is. Uh, Parmila, I want to speak to you. Hello. Yes, sir. I am speaking. Where are you? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm here. I mean, from where are you uh, speaking right now? I'm speaking, but you are not listening. Why? I don't know, sir. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, there, it was in mute. Con in mute. No, that's why. Parmila, are you in Hilly area or Torai region? Where are you now? Home or working place? Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, where, where you are locked down? Where you are locked down? Santo sir. Yes sir. No no, it's me. Yes, you are yes. Great. Uh, please uh, re re rename your that name. It is Galaxy Santos J8. Is it? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Yes, then. Yeah. He but, has got expensive expensive one mobile. You know so. Oh, <laughs> okay. Galaxy okay. yeah, like, G8 is very expensive. Uh, so, uh, I'm, ve I'm very, very happy. Are you really? Uh, yes, I'm, sir. I thought that uh, it will be quite complicated to study in this way, but it is very useful and resourceful also. And uh, uh, I felt as if uh, we are not far away. 
Sure, 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 sure. So I, I, I'm really happy because you are really worried about the CDA and you are studying uh, during your time, you know, leisure time or lockdown time, let's say. I'm really happy because uh, you, you, you people are worried. Sivana, why you sir, are um, sir. locked up? Hello, sir. You yes, yes, sir, please. Sir, we, we were worried, but not, not now at present. At present, we okay? are very I... happy with, with you. Uh -huh. Okay. No problem. Are... Sir, no problem. Okay, okay, good. So, uh, but, you know, tomorrow, when you come at 10 o'clock, then you have, yes, to, you have to speak five, five minutes about the YouTube uh, videos that I have sent you link. And then also, yes, you need to show me the critical discourse analysis of the text uh, I have recently sent to you. Okay? These things. Okay, sir. And, sir, uh, uh, yeah. Hello, sir, have you sent theoretical uh, portion also? Theoretical portion, I have already sent you in my yeah. previous email. Okay. And about unit four. About unit four, yeah, I have sent you five, uh, no, eight text. I will send you again. Okay. No problem, no problem okay. if you haven't got, let me send you again. Uh, let me send you again, no problem. It's okay. I will send you. Santosh, yeah. But you know, mm, yes. A reply all. Okay, look at here, the attachment. Okay, you will you will find real example there in in these videos, and uh, Bandik Bandik he has you know um, one very good workshop over here regarding his uh, uh, social cognition a cognitive model of discourse analysis. Okay, in this video, I will attach you again the materials for reading mm, and then you will read a lot okay one two three four five all okay 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 this one again this one no problem it's, oh it's long yes <laughs> okay, and how you are spending your lockdown time? Reading? Yes, sir. Listening Less to music, video. watching videos? Sir, cooking, eating, and <laughs> patterning on body. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Only our Santos are doing hard work. I don't think so. No, no, no. I mean to. Yeah. Hard worker. One of the hard worker among us. Santosari. Santosari yeah, really doing good job. Hard yes. But. Yes, sir. But we lazy people are. Mm -hmm. Going slowly. Yes, I have sent you the mail. I don't know whether you are finding or not. Okay. Uh, you have sufficient materials to read now. Okay. Sufficient. sufficient materials. Look at. And then I will uh I will stop the recording. So the